Hey guys, you want to know a good way of losing friends? Let them borrow money. I'm going to give you my little story right now. So a while back, I think it was a couple years ago, there was going to be a Kevin Hart concert over here. And um, we had let people borrow money before and then it just kind of got weird because they like didn't want to pay or we had to ask for money. And it's like, I remember that we had let a friend borrow money so this person and the spouse can have, can make sure they have the tickets to go to the Kevin Hart concert. I think it was like a couple months out and we didn't want it to sell out and we wanted to go with these people. So we got our tickets and then, um, and then they're like, oh, I want to pay, um, I want to pay for for my ticket I just don't get paid yet I get paid next month and this person had asked if we would get their tickets and then he will he would um pay us next paycheck so to me you know I really wanted to go with with this couple and then me and my my husband and I had talked about it and we went ahead and got their tickets and I was like it's okay they're just you know he'll get paid next month so you know, I wouldn't put it on my credit card. I wouldn't put, put the tickets on my credit card. And you guys know that if you have a balance on your credit card, the month after that, you know, you get charged interest. Uh, sorry. You get charged interest for this, you know. So I'm like, he's going to get paid next month. That's fine. So anyway, next month comes around. And I think the Kevin Hart show was um, like four months out. So we're three months out and this person has still not paid us. And I'm just like, hey, like your friend hasn't paid us for the tickets. And now remember, I I made my credit card payment. But um, at this point, I had, Jesus, at this point, I had, you know, pay the minimum because I was just going to grab the big chunk of money and just pay it off. So at this point, I'm already, you know, like I think they charge like $13 in interest. But at this point... I'm the one out of money because I paid for this person. So now I'm the one paying interest on this money. So anyway, I was like, this person hasn't paid. I'm just going to go ahead and pay it off. So I, I paid it off. And then I, I told my husband, I said, you know, this person hasn't paid us. And it was really irritating because my husband messaged this person. It was like, hey, we haven't gotten the money for the Kevin Hart tickets. And... This person, you know, we, we, we have a job. I mean, we're def we're not hurting for money. And a lot of people in our family knows that. And a lot of people in our circle knows that we, we're definitely not hurting for money. So we're like, hey, you got to pay us the tickets. And then this person's like, well, if you need the money that bad, go ahead and sell the tickets and whatever. And I'm just like... Hold the fuck on. I'm not in the ticket selling industry. I don't sell tickets. I'm not in retail. I'm not in any of that. I'm not in the... I don't go online and post shit for sale. I don't do any of that. I'm in healthcare. I'm not in fucking retail. And it's just like, oh, well, you need the money that bad. And it's like, actually, yes, I do need my money. My money is my money. My money is better in my bank account. Needless to say, I messaged this person and I was just like, I was really irritated because I had already paid interest on my credit card money. that It wasn't that much, but it was my money that I paid interest on for you. So at this moment, I'm just really irritated and I messaged this person. And I was like, hey, you know, that's pretty shitty that you get an attitude when you said you were going to you were going to pay us on your next paycheck. And you never paid us. And, you know, he was like, oh, well, you know, he was pretty much like trying to make us feel guilty for asking for our money. Needless to say, we're not friends with this person. We don't talk to this person anymore. And it's just like, you know, every time you let somebody borrow money, it's a problem. It's like you have to ask. If I have to ask you for my money, it's embarrassing for me to have to ask you for my money. If you say you're going to pay me back on the 5th and you don't have my money on the 5th, call me on the 5th and say, hey, I don't have your money today. I'll give it to you next pay period because I'd rather you 
I'd rather you be honest with me than me being like, okay, well, it's the fifth and you haven't paid me. And it's like, we work hard for our money. So yes, if you tell me you're going to pay me on the fifth, I expect payment on the fifth or I expect some kind of communication. So I've let like four people, my husband and I have let like four people borrow money and we are not friends anymore. We are not friends because people just want to borrow money and then you never fucking see them again. And God forbid if you ask them for your money because then you're just the biggest bitch in the world. And it's like, no, we work hard for our money. So I am going to ask you, even if I have a million dollars in the bank and I let you borrow five, if you tell me you're going to pay me back next week, I will be calling you. I will expect my money next week. And I will wait a week. Maybe you forgot. And then I'm going to ask you for my money. And then people just get offended. Like, how dare they ask for their money? They're they're not hurting. Their bills are paid. They're fine. Why are they asking for the miserable five, ten bucks that they let me borrow? And it's like, Kevin tickets were a couple hundred dollars. Not, to be honest with you guys, I can't exactly remember, but it was like, I think it was like, you know, for two people, it was like a couple hundred dollars. But anyway, you want to get rid of fucking people, you let them borrow money and see how quick they disappear from your life. And needless to say, we don't let nobody borrow, borrow money now because I, if I have a friendship with someone, I'd rather keep that friendship than let you borrow money. And then later on, we're just not friends anymore. Because people just don't want to pay. Also, when you work hard for your money and you're doing okay. Let's say I worked an extra five hours at work yesterday and I was really tired and I didn't want to stay an extra five hours. But I'm like, you know, it's going to be nice if I stay an extra five hours. And then you had the opportunity to stay five extra hours and you didn't. But then next week when it's payday, you're asking me for extra money and it's like, no, I worked for that money. I stayed extra for that money. You didn't. And then I'm the bad person because I'm not letting you borrow money. And it's like, you know, when you ask people for money, you're asking them for a favor. It doesn't mean that they have to do it. They don't have to do it. You're asking me if I'm willing to let you m borrow money. And the answer is no. It will always be no. I don't have it. I can't get it. Nope, I don't have money. Because that is how you lose relationships. That is how you lose friendships. Let somebody let somebody borrow money and you will never hear from them again. And then if you ask and if you ask them for your money, you're the evil witch of the fucking West. 